What's up, you guys? This is Mary with HPI, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's a free general collective reading for all signs. Cut two sides to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. It's a free general collective reading. Love you guys so very much. It's 7, 12 a.m., 12, 4, 2022. Thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I really appreciate all the um, views of my content, shares of my content on social media, and the spreading of my channel, especially on social media and word of mouth, because it helps my channel get around to people that do not know about it. So thanks so much, you guys. Okay, so we're going to get into the daily tea for 12-4-2022. I love you guys. Um, I'm picking up on a particular fire sign, femme, judge, negative karma. This is not good. Of course, I might pick up other energy as we get into this reading, but because I'm not just going to make it this, I'm just going to see if I pick up anything else, okay? I won't do separate videos. I'll just see if I pick it up, okay? If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But um, but this isn't a good one. I'll tell you that. Um, just saying to say it. Okay, so love you guys and only take the messages that resonate. Okay, so I'm picking up on a fire sign femme judge. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Judge. So it's a fem Judge. She could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Menhaven, or Jupiter charts. I heard she's about to find out she has cancer soon. Cancer. So um, the illness, cancer. And I didn't hear what kind of cancer. I don't know if it's, um, you know, uh, brain cancer, uh, lung cancer, uh breast cancer, what, whatever. I didn't hear specifically what kind, but I did hear um, she's about to find out she has it soon, and I heard it's metastasizing quickly. Soon it's about to become stage four. Um, um, that's all I heard so far. So metastasizing, now I know what it means, but I Google definition it, so everybody's on the same page. Now I know what metastasize means. I've been in nurse a hot minute, but even if I wasn't a nurse, I knew what it was before that. But my point is, is I'm going to Google definition that way. Everybody's on the same page. But metastasize basically means spread. So she's about to find out she has some kind of cancer. Now, whatever kind of cancer this is, I don't know. But I heard it's about to quickly spread to stage four. Now, stage four is bad. Stage four is bad. You want to catch it early, 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 early. Um, So it... It's going to be caught in a late stage of the disease process is what I'm trying to say. And it's um, it's it's metastasizing, it's spreading. So metastasize, um, definition, via Google, uh, Google definition, spread to other sites in the body by metastasis, cancers that metastasize to the brain. That's the uh, sample definition. So metastasize basically means spread, okay? I'll read it one more time. Metastasize, spread to other sites in the brain. Uh, I'm not, I'm sorry, not the brain. Spread to other sites in the body. So to spread, basically. Um, I heard it is metastasizing. It's about to turn into stage four. Now, there's four stages of cancer. Hold on one second. So if it's about to turn uh, into stage four, that's the latest stage. That's the, that's the, ending stage of uh, cancer um well most most cancers I, I apologize most cancers most types of cancer most so not all most types of cancer have four stages stage one to stage four some cancers also have a stage zero okay yeah so some cancers have a stage zero i didn't know that but most have stage one to stage four, but hers is about to metastasize, spread to other areas in her body, and it's about to turn into stage four. Whatever kind of cancer that is and how that resonates, okay? Stay, okay, so I heard it's about to turn into stage four. Stage four cancer is not always terminal. It is usually more advanced and requires more aggressive treatment. Terminal cancer refers to cancer that is not curable and eventually results in death. Now, I didn't hear what kind of cancer she has. I just heard it's about to turn into stage four. Um, so stage four doesn't always mean it's terminal, but it requires more aggressive 
treatment, advanced and aggressive treatment. So um, how this resonates, but I will say the ending of that channeling, um, I heard she is, um, this is happening because she has treated a particular family in her um, jurisdiction. I heard her jurisdiction like complete trash. So you plug it in how it resonates. So it sounds like she's getting negative karma because she treated some family in her jurisdiction. So I'm assuming she has been a, um, a I'm assuming she was on a, the, uh, a judge to one of these, um, to a family in some shape, form or fashion in the past. Um, and she treated, it's a femme, and she treated this family like, I heard like trash. So she treated them terribly, um, in some shape, form, or fashion. She could have helped in a huge, 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 huge way, but she did not. And it's about to backfire on her in the form of serious illness, and this is not going to go well for her. It's about to spread very quickly, very aggressively. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's terrible. Uh, it's terrible. So I heard she could have helped in a huge, huge, huge way in the past, but she chose not to. She chose not to do the right thing. Um, and she, I guess she went the other route in some shape, form, or fashion. So now the energy is boomeranged back upon her or is about to boomerang back upon her in the form of some kind of serious Ill, um, cancer. I heard cancer on her body. Um, and I heard it's going to spread quickly and aggressively and it's not going to go well for her. It, it, she is a fire sign feminine judge, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, judge. She can have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But to me, this is a good example of, and I didn't hear it, but it's a good example of abuse of authority. I heard she could have really helped them in a huge way in the past, but she chose not to. She chose to do the opposite. So this is a good example of abuse of authority and not helping when you could have. But negative karma coming because you could have, she could have helped. She could have been a hero. But instead, now she, it's already, it sounds like this is already past energy. She didn't. So now she's getting negative karma in the form of cancer on her own body. And I heard it's going to spread quickly and aggressively. And um, it's, it's not going to go well for her. So you plug it in how it resonates in the form of some kind of cancer. So she could have been a hero to this family in the past, but since she chose not to, universal karma is hitting her on her own, with health problems on her own body, basically, is what I'm gathering from this. This is yikes. She was trying to humiliate the mother, but she is about to run into some serious problems of her own. Okay, I heard she was trying to humiliate the mother. So she was trying to humiliate the mother in this family in some shape, form, or fashion. But I heard now she, um, she's about to experience some serious problems of her own. So you plug it in, how it resonates. This is, yikes, concerned. She's going to be concerned about this cancer spreading um, so quickly. I heard quickly and aggressively, and it's not going to go well for her. Number 33 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 33. And I was picking up, I think yesterday or the day before, about um, um, uh, deaths coming of some kind of doctors, masculine doctors. But I'd also picked up a fire sign thin judge death coming too. But I had to put it in the comment section. That's the one I forgot because I didn't put it in the video because that's the one I forgot. But I wonder if it's the same one is what I'm trying to say. Um, that I was picking up the other day in that reading. Um, it might, it might not be. I didn't get specific details on her like I am now, but in that reading, I couldn't remember the other one. And that was, it, that was the other one, Fire Sign Fem Judge, but I put it in the comment section so you guys could see it. But I was picking up the masculine doctors or doctor, if they have a doctorate or something in that reading. But I, she's, I think it might be the same one is what I'm trying to say. But you plug it in, how it resonates. But we, out of all these cards, we have concern.
There's about to be things coming out of left field with her generational bloodline, grandkids, kids, extended family coming out of left field soon and quickly. And her health is about to decline in a huge negative way. Quickly. Oh my God. So heavy generational bloodline energy here. I heard there's about to be some kind of concern or problems with her grand, her grandkids. Her, I'm assuming her kids or somebody she's connected to kids. Um, I'm assuming hers because I heard her bloodline. So grandkids, kids, and extended family. It's about to come out all over the place from left field. I don't, I don't know if that's health concern or it or some other kind of concern, but something to do with her kids, grandkids, and extended family. It sounds like it's about to happen soon and quickly. These concerns, whether it's medical or maybe a motor vehicle accident or financial concerns or whatever it is, but it's something going on with, I heard it's about to happen soon and quickly with her bloodline, her bloodline, kids, grandkids, and extended family concern in that area and her own health because her own health is about to decline soon and quickly. And to me, this is a good example that I don't care what position you are in society, you should never abuse your position of authority. And in this case, she's getting negative karma because she abused her position of authority. I heard she could have helped this family in huge ways, but she chose not to. She chose to be a karmic to these people, this family, hurt them instead of help them. So concern. Now her bloodline is about to suffer because she didn't make the right decision in her position of authority. She abused it. She's about to ever regret she did this in a huge way. She's about to ever regret she did this in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. She's about to ever regret she did this in a huge way. So concerned because she's, um, she's, because she's about to ever regret she did it. Not because she's really sorry, I feel, that she wronged the family so badly. She's already done that. It sounds like she don't, I mean, narcissistic in her. She can care less. She's only going to be concerned and feeling bad about it because she's now her health is about to decline. Now her bloodline is about to suffer. In the form of negative universal karma here. And she's about to get a very important phone call from a very, 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 very important person that lives a far distance from her. And they're going to tell her information she does not want to hear. She's about to get a very, very, very important phone call from a very important person from a very far distance from her. A long distance from her, sorry. A long distance from her. And I heard they're going to tell her information she doesn't want to hear. So whatever kind of information that is, I think it's going to concern her or or make her upset or worry her or something. It's information she doesn't want to hear. Whatever that is and how that applies. Oh, this is this is a good example not to abuse a, a, a authority. And that's just the truth. I heard she could have helped them in huge ways in the past. But she basically chose not to. She made the free willing choice to do not the right thing. Let's pull another one. We have sudden wealth too. Number 11 could be very significant. Number one's life. Number 11, sudden wealth. I heard get another card. Okay. Share messages here. Really quick. False person. She's a judge. She is a judge. So she sits in this position of authority on a daily workday basis. But she could have helped a family that was in her courtroom in the past with the adjudication card. But she chose not to. So now she's getting negative karma with her own medical condition or conditions and her bloodline about to run into some serious problems. 
this is a good example to do the right thing no matter in what position you are whether you're behind the whatever this is called or not i don't know what that's called mm. false person number eight be very significant number in one's life number eight false person Many people are seeing her true colors now. She has exposed them. Involved in human and sex trafficking in the past. And there is a particular feminine energy that is, lives at a very, very, very far distance from her that has escaped human and sex trafficking in her community in the past. This judge has been involved in human and sex trafficking for a long time, a very long time. But the family that she didn't help and the feminine energy that escaped the human and sex trafficking from her community in the past is about to bring be bring her down. It's about to be the downfall of this judge. Okay, so you plug in and help resonate. So this Finn Firesign judge, she didn't, okay, so she's been involved in human sex trafficking for a long time. But she doesn't want her community and her society to know it. But I heard they know it, that basically her not helping the family in the past has exposed her true colors as a human and sex trafficker because she, she didn't help the family in the past. So they might have been human and sex trafficked or attempted to be a human and sex trafficked. And it sounds like her community knows it. And so they it's exposed her since she didn't, she could have helped the family. Instead, she didn't help the family. It's exposed her true colors as a false person because she could have helped and she didn't. Exposed to the fact that she's been involved in human sex trafficking for a long time, basically. And so it's not only the family that's about to bring her downfall. It is a femme energy that has escaped um, some kind of human sex trafficking. This judge has been a part of this human and sex trafficking ring in their her community for a long time. But the family was involved in some kind of human sex trafficking in the past in some shape, form, or fashion connected to it in some way. I think somebody tried to traffic the, um, the family is what I think in the past. This femme energy that was in her community, this sounds like this family is in her community or was in her community. This femme energy that was a very, 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 very far distance from her was once in her community, but it sounds like she was trafficked. She was trafficked. She was trafficked. That's that's um, confirmation. She was trafficked. She was trafficked. This family, I don't think was trafficked. I think they were attempted to be trafficked. This femme energy really was trafficked, but she really, I mean, this isn't just taking somebody's naked photos or videos and making money off them and exploiting them and human and sex trafficking and making a shit ton of money off them just with the photos and videos. This person actually was plucked from their community, like taken away, like human modern day slavery is what it sounds like. But I heard this person that this happened to, she is broke free. She has broke free. She's broke free and the family that this judge could have helped and she chose not to. Both of these combined is about to bring the downfall of this judge and her failing health. Because she's getting universal karma in the universe now because she's being exposed as a human and sex trafficker basically or is about to be. An air sign has already got a huge ass wake up call and they will continue. An air sign has already got a huge ass wake up call and they will continue. So some kind of Gemini Libra Aquarius has already got a huge ass wake up call and they will continue. Now, whoever this air sign is connected to this dirty judge, femme sex trafficker for years judge involved in sex trafficking and this situation. I heard these two situations in combination connected to this dirty ass judge. She's the judge in this aspect. Is about to bring her downfall. I want her I mean, she's already going down medically. She's already going down medically. Um, but I wonder if it's going to bring her career downfall because we do have this. So you plug it in how it resonates. Things are about to fall apart in a huge way for her. The feminine energy that has escaped from the community and is free now from the human and sex trafficking, she is about to 
reveal such huge information to people outside her community. It is about to detriment this judge and others. Okay, so the one that has escaped the feminine energy that has escaped this toxicity, she's about to reveal to other people basically what this judge's game. This judge's game, how they play, what they do, the ins and outs. Because hell, she was actually human and sex trafficked, like actually carted off. Um, not just had photos or videos taken of her, not just had a hidden camera implanted somewhere and somebody put her on the dark web. She actually was damn carted off. But um, she is about to reveal, I heard to a very important person, it, uh, I guess in her community or near her community, but not in this dirty ass judges, first on Fem's judge community, about information on human sex trafficking in her community and her involvement in it. She might know, this person might know information on family too, possibly. She does. She does. Okay, I heard she does. She does know information on this family. It's about to all come out. It's about to all come out. It's about to all come out. And it's about to connect her, this dirty ass judge, sex trafficked her for years, I heard, years in her community. I think she was pacing this family to human and sex traffic them, but it backfired, is what I think. But she really did, was able to do it with this person. But this person has broke free. And this person knows information on this family. So this is how it sounds like it's about to backfire in the universe and expose her as a human and sex trafficker. She's a false-ass judge. She's about to ever regret she got involved with human and sex trafficking in the past. Ever regret it. She's about to ever regret she got involved with human and sex trafficking in the past. Ever regret it. Well, she should. And that's just the truth. Alright, I love you guys so much. I'm closing it here. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. Red hair, black hair, blonde hair is significant in this. Red hair, black hair, and blonde hair is significant in this. Red hair, black hair, blonde hair. So maybe the one that actually got carted off and has escaped human sex trafficking um, and is in a different community safe now. Maybe she, maybe ma'am, if this is you, maybe you have red, black, or blonde hair. Maybe somebody in this family has red, black, or blonde hair. Or maybe this judge has red, black, or blonde hair. You plug it in how it resonates. I heard red, black, and blonde hair. Um, people should have faith in the justice system if anybody needs to hear this. People should have faith in the justice system, not um, going up into the court of law and afraid they're going to be screwed over because somebody likes to abuse their authority and they're secretly involved in human and sex trafficking. If anybody needs to hear that, and I'm just being serious. I love you guys. Namaste.